Hey guys, how are you? I have a very, very, very important word and this word is going to definitely mean something to many of you guys, okay? So I just want to start off by saying don't be scared, okay? God does not want you to be scared to start over, all right? And sometimes starting over is not completely starting over. Start. Sometimes what happens is you already... I'm going to go into that part just now. Let me just, let me just continue. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, let me just start by saying God will give you a seed, but sometimes you're not supposed to plant your seed in a specific soil. Do you get what I'm saying? God can grant you with the seed, but the seed is not supposed to be in that soil. What I mean by that is God, the seed is your purpose. God reveals your purpose to you. God reveals where you're going to be in the future. You know what I mean? God's showing you visions and dreams as to where you're going to be. God is, is giving you, it's like he's showing you this is the outcome of your situation. See, the outcome never changes. That's God's promises, okay? That's never going to change. The outcome is always going to stay the same. The transportation towards that can change. Do you get what I'm saying? The outcome cannot be built or cannot be planted in contaminated soil so the seed is the idea the seed is the vision the seed is the promise the seed is is where you're gonna be okay now god granted you the seed but you're in an environment you're not supposed to see in sorry you're not supposed to be in that's contaminated soil. You have friends around you that's not supposed to be with you. That's contaminated soil. You have people around you you're not supposed to associate yourself with. That's contaminated soil. You're in the workplace that you're not supposed to be in. That's contaminated soil. Anything that goes against God's purpose, that goes against God's will for you, that's contaminated soil, okay? How are you going to know that you are going to, if, if you're planting a seed in contaminated soil, because the promises that God has given you, the things that God has shown you, for some reason, you're not seeing anything really manifest towards it. There is something around you that is contaminated. And it, it could be, like I said, it could be your environment. It could be that God may want you to move. So it could be that God is telling you to move, change locations. And it's kind of like you can't change locations because you're afraid to change locations or God is saying you got to quit your job and you got to start going towards your business, but you're scared to quit your job or it's a situation where God is saying you got to release that person, but you're scared to release that person. Anything that is blocking you is contaminated soil. You're not supposed to plant that seed in that soil. Now, when you plant seed in the soil, what happens in the soil? What happens? It grows. It grows into a tree, right? So if there's if it's going to grow into a tree, a tree is permanent. You need permanent soil for that. That's an outcome type of soil, okay? So what God is saying is he does not want you guys to be afraid to start over. Starting over means having faith in him. Now I'm going to tell you guys a, a quick testimony, okay? I started over plenty of times in my life. I was in a very dark place in 2015. From 20 like i think it was like 20 from 2012 or 2013 to 2015 i was in a very dark place i had to completely start over i had to give up everything god stripped me of everything i went through my warfare in 2016 god stripped me of everything i had nothing okay and then i had to start over so you, from 2016 i was starting to see where god was going to take me through dreams and visions right but in order for that to happen, I had to strip away everything. God had to strip away everything from me, right? So I still had the seed, but God gave me temporary soil. It wasn't the permanent soil, but he gave me a flower pot with temporary soil. So the flower pot is transportable. I can bring the flower pot anywhere I go. The tree is still growing in that flower pot. It's not the main big tree yet, but it's growing. Do you see what I'm saying? After he gave me the flower pot with the temporary soil, right? I ended up going, like I ended up changing my life, doing the right thing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But then I ended up back on a path that I wasn't supposed to be on. I was supposed to help people on that path, but it was not my permanent path. So I'm not going to say I wasn't supposed to be there. God wanted me to be there, but it wasn't where I was supposed to plant my seed. I got comfortable on that path. Okay, and that was a new age path, got comfortable on it. And I thought that was where I was supposed to be. And I was literally about to plant my seed there. So literally, I tried planting my seed there. Couldn't grow. It couldn't grow. You see what I'm saying? And the reason for that is because I was supposed to be there to help some people out of that. 
but that was not my permanent soil for my tree. So once I did what God wanted me to do there, I had to start all over again, which meant that I started over before, I built myself back up, and then I got stripped of everything again. Stripped of everything again. Okay, so I want to read a scripture, okay, relating to Paul. This is 1 Corinthians 9, okay, and this is what Paul said. To the Jews, I became like a Jew to win the Jews. To those under the law, I became like one under the law, though myself am not under the law. So as, as to win those under the law. To those not having the law, I became like one not having the law. Though I am not free from God's law, but I'm under, but I'm under Christ's law. So as to win those not having the law. To, to the weak, I became weak to win the weak. I have become all things to all people so that all so that by all possible means I ha I might save some, okay? So definitely Paul had to become even what he wasn't supposed to be, which is temporarily. He did not plant the seed there, but he visited there with his tree and with his temporary soil, but he did not get comfortable and plant the seed there. But in the process, he was able to help people and save people. Do you get where I'm coming from? So but then he had to start over again. You get what I'm saying? So each time he had to start over. But there was a purpose for starting over each time. And that's why I said it wasn't like he was completely starting from scratch. No, he still had something with him. He still had the seed that God promised him. He still had the seed that God gave him. See, I had the seed that God gave me. I just never was able to plant it in a permanent destination. I was still just carrying the plants around with me and visiting places, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You see what I'm saying? Because there is a purpose there, right? That may happen to you guys. So you may be in a job right now where you're like, wait, but God told me to start this job. Now he's telling me to leave this job. You were supposed to be there at that moment. You see, sometimes starting over is not actually starting over. You get what I'm saying? That's why God says don't be afraid to start over because you're not completely starting from scratch. You still got the seed. You see what I'm saying? So... What I'm saying with this also, guys, is you can't also be afraid of rejection because sometimes rejection is protection. Sometimes the reason why you're rejected from that job is because that's not where you're supposed to be planting your seed. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you're rejected from that school because that's not the school where God's going to take you. That's not where he wants you to plant your seed. Remember, wherever you plant your seed, that's where your tree is going to permanently grow. Okay? Yes, like I said before, you may have temporary soil right? And your tree will grow from that temporary soil, but that's not the permanent place where God wants you to be, okay? So throughout the times I made these changes, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what, even though all my destinations have changed, let me tell you what not have changed because my, my, my living arrangement changed, my finances changed, they're up and down, the friends that I had in my life changed, a lot of things changed in my life, but let me tell you what did not change. What didn't change was the actual seed that God gave me. What never changed was the, and the seed is the promise. What never changed was the visions and the dreams that God gave me. They stayed the same throughout the whole process. That's how I knew I was still heading into that direction. You get what I'm saying? Even though I felt like I had to start over so many times, I knew that me, not starting over, but me, basically, I'm, I don't want to say start over, but me um, rebuilding. I knew that me rebuilding was still going to lead me to where I was supposed to be. Do you get what I'm saying? So now I want to tell you guys something else. Okay, and there's another scripture I want to read to you guys, okay? This is Paul, um, sorry, 1 Corinthians, verse 24. Do you not know that in a race, all runners, but, all runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way where as, sorry, run in a way where as to get to the prize Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training, okay? They do it to get a crown. That will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. See, most of the population are afraid to take risks. They're running for a crown that won't last. And this is them settling. So they got a seed from God and they're planting a seed at the job they're not supposed to be planting a seed at. They're planting a seed at, 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 a, sorry, at a location they're not supposed to be living at. They're planting a seed in a relationship with someone they're not supposed to be with. So when God says it's time for you to rebuild, not start over, to rebuild, you can't look at it as starting over. You have to understand that you were supposed to be there at a specific period of time. 
but that's not the permanent location. That's not the end so you all. You can't be afraid to take the risks to be where God wants you to be. Because that's the thing. Those who will mock you, lie to you, mimic you, and those who will reject you, they're the ones who take the risk. They run after a literal crown that does not last forever. Do you see what I'm saying? You are running after a crown that lasts forever. You have to keep yourself from being disqualified in the race. Listen, if you are saying that this is the finish line of the race and God is saying this is not your finish line of the race, and you're saying that it is, and you choose to settle and stay there, you've been disqualified. Do you get where I'm coming from? So you have to continue rebuilding in order to get to the finish line because guess what's gonna happen? The vision that God gave you, the promise that God gave you, the seed that God gave you is not gonna change if you are continuing in the race. See, it will change, it will change if you choose not to take risks and you choose to stay where God tells you not to stay. If God is saying you gotta leave, you know, new age or you gotta leave that specific church because that's not the right church for you or you gotta leave that location you gotta leave that city you gotta leave that town you gotta leave that relationship and you choose to disobey god because you are afraid because you think that you doing that is starting over and not actually rebuilding so you're afraid to take that risk you are going to disqualify yourself from the race what you're doing is you're choosing to settle with the crown that doesn't last forever the seed, remember, the whole point of this is you are looking for a forever place to plant that seed so it can grow into the tree it's become, right? You, some of you guys may just have the seed. Some of you guys may have the seed, but some of you guys may have a temporary pot with a tree in it. So God started you off with a little bit of soil, which means that every new place that you went to, you're getting closer and closer to your destination, which means you have been rewarded now with a temporary soil until you get to your permanent location. But that's how you know you're kind of moving ahead. Do you get what I'm saying? So let me read the rest of this to you. It's really deep, okay? So, um, therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize, okay? So that was Paul's sacrifice was his body. Your sacrifice may be, you know what? You're gonna have to go through financial, a financial drainage because I want, God may say, I want you to rebuild again. I don't want you planting your seed here. I don't want you to settle and be comfortable in this career and you're not going towards your purpose. So going towards your purpose may mean that you may, you may be low on finances. It may mean that you may be homeless for a bit. It may mean that you know you may go through some heartache because you got to break up with someone that's not for you. It may mean that you may have to let go of the friends that you had. It may mean you may have to cut off your family. But guess what? You're not going to be disqualified from the race. Why? Because you're continuously running. You're continuously running and you're taking these risks and you're not choosing to settle. The whole point of this is what I'm saying is when God gives you a seed... You have to understand that, you know, sometimes you are going to have to continue rebuilding, but pay attention to the visions, pay attention to the dreams and pay attention to it along the way. If you are consistently rebuilding and you're noticing that the dreams and the visions and the promise that God has given you hasn't changed, it means you're not disqualified from the race. If you're, if you're realizing, okay, well, I feel like I'm further away from where I want to be. You get what I'm saying? You may have settled. The only way to not be disqualified is you have to consistently have faith and you got to consistently be moving. You got to consistently be rebuilding. And that's a part of it. Like I said before, you may have had to stop in certain areas because you may have had a purpose in someone's life in these specific areas. You may, even though that person may not be in your life no more, you may have had a purpose in their life. They may have had a purpose in your life. There was something that had to be taught to you to help you get into the next direction. Do you get what I'm saying? Even if it wasn't a good person, that's why God says sometimes your enemies help you. Do you see what I'm saying? Sometimes your enemies help you. Look what happened with my skincare. You see what I mean? Like, look what they did to me, and I create a skincare formula out of the pain they caused me. You see what I'm saying? But in the process of that, I also had to sacrifice, you know, finances to get inventory and all of that stuff. So there's always a sacrifice throughout it, but you're still in the race. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm saying this to say, when God wants you to rebuild, don't be afraid to rebuild and don't look at it as starting over. I am going to name this starting over don't be afraid to start over because i know a lot of you guys are going to see it that way but it's not that way it's rebuilding okay it's rebuilding now when you consistently do what god wants you to do that's when you get to the permanent soil that's the outcome okay that's the outcome where god says okay you're here now because you had to get there before you either had to plant your seed in a little pot where god gave you temporary soil and that's 
continue on your way and your your tree grew but you gotta you gotta get to the permanent location before your tree grows into a tree because you can't grow your tree into a tree where you're not supposed to be Whew. you see what i'm saying or your tree is stuck there right so you got to hurry up and get to that destination. So you got to keep moving when God tells you to move. You got to keep rebuilding when God says rebuild. Now you get to that destination, which is the end all be all promise that has not changed throughout your journey there. You plant your seed and now you can, your tree can grow in the right soil. Okay. Let me guys, I'll talk to you soon. I know it's deep. See, when God, when God showed it to me, it was kind of like, I understood it right away. But... You'll understand. You'll understand. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>